All right, guys. This is a uh, electric fan install by FF Dynamics on a '97 Chevy, 5.7 liter V8. We have the fan clutches off, um, the shrouds obviously off, and what I did is I took these two little bolts, one right there, and these little brackets, little bracket like that that sits over here that holds the radiator we've taken those off and it tells you to take out your radiator but, but I think I, we can get it by pushing it forward uh, and hooking this on so what we've done is I'll see if I can get it for you um, we pull this up and there's some dots so what I did is I basically just kind of lined this up Find this up with the dots there and I measured a half inch on that side of gap and then a half inch on the uh, middle portion as well right here half inch and a half inch there so one inch and a half inch right there it's a total of 34 inches across each fan is 16 inches which gives you 32 so all right that's step one all right, guys, get your drill out. I have a 1 8 uh, inch drill bit in there. And what I'm doing, just drilling holes. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. Don't mind this dot. That was an accident. And we drilled another hole. Right here. So, I'm going to stick the bolts through. I think 1 8 is going to be big enough. We're going to double check here in just a minute. And we'll get back to it. All right, guys. It turns out 1164s is the uh, best drill bit size for those. But as you can see, they're in. I'm going to put some later on. I'm going to undo these and put some a uh, thread locker on them. So anyway, I figured out a good way to do this. What you do is you get a punch and then just make a center point for your drill bit so that's what we're gonna do <clears throat> all right guys for the next step basically you're gonna use these uh, these pieces here and what you do is you just stick it right in Let's see if I can turn it upside down here I'm just gonna show you this way what we do is we just stick it right in there and what I do is I just slowly, just ever so slowly, just work it through. And it will go through, and it pops out right there. And what we do is we just push the radiator forward a little bit. And just pull it, pull it on through. So you end up looking like that. And then what we'll do is we're going to put a little thing on that guy. Put a little rubber piece first so that the... Um, Obviously the radiator gets hot, so we're going to put the rubber piece on first and then the plastic piece on top of that, which are right there. <laughs> 